Welcome to another very exciting five minute auto pairing. Let's try maybe a Finchetto here. Uh, or keep the tension in the center. Mm. Can I do this? And clamp down on B5. So I'm wondering about G4 and Bishop G2, just, I mean, that should be a reasonable position. Okay. Alright, e is a problem here. Maybe Bishop D3 is needed. Every I'm weakening too many dark squares. So, uh, I'll go for this. Now f4 for queen f3. <clears throat> and support even more, I hope. The e4 pawn. Maybe bishop f2 to h4 would be good. I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, that's a good sign. Um, Bishop f2 to h4. This bishop would go back. Hmm, I'd play e5 there, maybe. Okay. She maybe um, here on like queen b6 on bishop h4. Maybe just wait for a moment. The knight is protected at the moment as well. Got to be careful about this knight being loose. Uh, I swing around to. Um, I wonder if I can swing around to f5 and knight is knight sack on f5. Now we're taking a4 here. d3, that's a lot of pressure. Knight g3. Any f5, I lose the e5 square. Oh, it's going to torture my b3. If I just try to hold this for a moment. I wonder this diagonal. How dangerous is it? If I play this pawn second and knight c2. Knight d3 with bishop e6. Yeah. I'll try this to try and open this diagonal. Because that looks strange. <clears throat> we can see five. Okay, so there's no C two here. Look at that. Hitting the rug. just lose a pawn for nothing. Yeah, it looks really annoying. Um, I'll take this. Takes here. I just lost the pawn. But his bishop's a bit blunted. So maybe it's not in the world just yet. I just need to avoid losing too many pawns. Oh, 
using another one. <laughs> and another one bites the dust. Okay. Um, default now. D5. Try and break through. And since I don't know, probably not ideal. Two pawns. It's Queen B5. Have we got any tactical threats? I'm on his pawns now. A5. Can I get some pawns back? Uh, some tactics. Knight C7. Doesn't really do much. Knight B6, on the other hand. Try and get a pawn back. Okay. His bishop still gonna get his bishop out, is he? And get this other pawn back to try and equal on pawns. So we have this ending. My knight's sitting comfortably. King in the centre. Bring my pawns up. F five looks good. Bit of a squeeze, I hope. Bear hug. There's no checks at the moment. It's dropping C five to get D four. E six, I mean. Uh, King D4. It is a pawn. I'm not sure it's worth what he did just to get E6. Ah, okay. I see the point now. Is he going to just eliminate white pawns here? There's F6 on the cards. Mm, is F6 worth it? So. <clears throat> E6 and it's getting too close to him wiping out my pawns what can I do which can add some torture here I wonder. Um, I'm going to torture him. Knight d7. If I bring my king to d7. Check. Mm, so he's, he's not really uh, budging from his position. Okay. Get my king over here. Is it anywhere winning this? Bishop. Can I like try and trap his bishop with knight b2? Mm, no, his king just blockades. Hold on. Oh! Check. I it's got the draw. Yeah, that's good. No, there's no, no hang on. Let's not resign. It's just that's <laughs> about to resign. Uh, that would be tragic. And it's early in the morning. I, I need some more coffee. Yeah. No, there's no way of winning that. <clears throat> it seems. 
Um, I think he found the optimal diagonal for the bishop. Anyway, I was I was gonna have in a little bit because uh, two pawns is not too clever. And I was coming back here. Oh, it's not really giving much of an advantage for white. Even with this king centralization, it looks impressive. I mess up. Yeah, I thought king e6, and I might be in trouble. It just dissolves my pawns, actually. Yeah, I think it's just heading for a draw here. Check. I don't think there's anything magnificent I've missed. Check. I can't. I can't do anything here. Can I? Doubt it. All right. Um. So yeah, if I go for like his bishop, he just come gets his king out. I mean, there's nothing. Uh, nothing whatsoever. Oh well. All right. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks so much.